at what point are you considered optimal? Are there any certain cues to look for? This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. Do you feel as good as you had hoped for? Yeah. And are you realistic about that? Let's be real, okay? If you're 65 years old, and you tell me, well, I don't feel like I'm 18. I don't know if you ever will. Maybe, maybe not. Optimal means you're happy. You're, you're happy. And again, you're happy based on things that we have control over. You're not happy because you're not making enough money at your job. And then you tell me it's your testosterone level. Obviously, we can't help you with that. But at the end of the day, optimal is, again, subjective. What is optimal to you? It is not a number, but how do you feel? Have we resolved your symptoms? We look at the ADAM score, for example, 10 common low T symptoms. Uh, if you answered four out of 10 uh, on, that, on that questionnaire, my goal is to tackle those four questions. I want zero out of 10. That's my ultimate goal. Will we hit a zero with every patient? No. I want to minimize those yeses into nos. And essentially that tells me I've resolved this, 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 and that until you're either symptom free or as close to it as possible. Optimization is an ever going journey. It is not a destination, but it's a journey. And that's why I tell people, it's not like we're going to like do this for you for three months, cut the noose and you're on your own. This is a lifelong management process because it is a journey. There is no destination. And now give this video a thumbs up and go watch one of these videos to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.